Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, hello. If you're watching the replay of this, hope your day is going well or has went well. All right, let me adjust this. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, if you're, hey, good morning, good morning. If you're jumping on the scope for the first time, my name is David, and uh, and I enjoy encouraging people. Hey, good morning to everybody out there. Good morning, and uh, and if you're joining the scope, remember that uh, unlike Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, you actually can tap on the screen multiple times and give multiple hearts. So you can't, you can give more than one like you can actually like it hundreds even thousands of times and so when you like something when you tap 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 on the screen it's kind of like your applause your approval or you're saying like yeah i agree that's an awesome point my life has changed and uh and so just letting you know i appreciate you guys sharing uh inviting your friends inviting your followers what's up victoria how you doing from alabama so uh thank you so much for inviting your people out invite your people out for a quick scope and uh, and we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna talk about avoiding perfection, per perfection paralysis. I actually, um, it is in my nature, it's in my personality to be a perfectionist. Some of you all might be able to relate to that. Good morning. Uh, some of y'all might be able to relate to that, but I am definitely a perfectionist by nature. Doesn't mean I do everything perfect. Me too. All right. Doesn't mean I do everything perfect, but um, but I, I want it to be perfect. Uh, and you know, sometimes you want it to be perfect so bad that we can suffer from something I like to call perfection paralysis. Uh, and what happens is you want to be so perfect and you want it th things to be so great and perfect that you're uh, hesitant to step out because things aren't perfect. And I'm here to tell you that don't let perfection paralysis keep you down, keep you bound, or stop you from moving forward in life and trying and doing something new just because it's not perfect. Um, you know, there's a story uh, that I heard last year, you know, one of, uh, one of our coworkers, she was telling the story about um, how she's in school, she's back in school getting one of her degrees, and there was a paper that was due. And with this paper that was due, she hadn't started it yet. She hadn't finished it, but she hadn't even started it And because uh, things were so busy. And there was some students who had already turned in their papers, and I believe that uh, the paper was actually about to be due like that next day. And so there were some students who already turned in their papers, and uh, she was just kind of she was kind of lost. She didn't quite know what to do. And uh, she was dialoguing back and forth with her professor and was like, you know, I, I just need some direction. And and um, so the professor said, you know, I guess what their the way their course is, they do more open source. And so when students submit their things, they allow you to see other students uh, uh, work. And so as uh, the professor said, well, look at some of your other students. Maybe you'll get some ideas from them. She started to look at some of the other students and was like, you know, this this wasn't that great. And she, you know, she was like, and she wasn't trying to be critical, but she was just like, you know, they didn't really answer the question. I don't really know if this is helpful. And so a couple days go by, and she still hadn't turned in the paper. And um, and so you know, she was uh, she was talking to somebody else. She was like, you know. Their papers, you know, I, I don't, I don't see how they answered the question. I don't see why they were so good, and I don't know really where to start. And um, and she was telling us the story, and she said somebody told her, you know, they did better than you did because they started. And I thought that was so good that she was saying that, you know, instead of trying to be perfect, sometimes we just have to start. And the reason why theirs was so much better than hers is because hers didn't exist. And at least they tried. At least the other students, they attempted to do the assignment. And sometimes in life, we can want things to be so perfect that it can make us um, critical of ourselves. It can make us critical of others. And we're looking around at others like, oh, yeah, I ain't so good. And, you know, you're trying to do your branding. But, yeah, that's not so hot. And, you know, and, and we might not say anything, but maybe we're critical inside of ourselves. But, you know, the thing that they did that maybe you didn't do is they started. And sometimes for us, we have to get out of that perfection paralysis where we have to have everything be so perfect, every question answered before we start. And so whatever that is for you, whether it's a, um, a business idea, whether it's an organization, whether it's a ministry, uh, whether it's uh, just starting an idea that you had, whether it's personal branding, whatever it is, 
You just got to start. You got to start. You can't let perfection stop or paralyze your progress. And the, the longer that you wait, the longer that you'll wait on your results. The longer success will elude you. So sometimes you just got to start. And, you know, I used to tell people in personal training and I still tell people today, you know, they'll say, hey, I, I want to work out. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to get these goals. And I'll tell them just start anywhere because doing a little bit of something is 100 percent better than doing nothing. Just a little bit of something is 100% better than doing absolutely nothing. And so right there, if you just go ahead and start, you're already a leg up. You're already got heads up. I mean, you know, if, if you have an assignment that's due and you feel like, this isn't perfect. I don't know if I'm, if this is good. You know, this, I, maybe I'll just pass on this assignment. Well, you know, if you pass on the assignment, then you're going to get a zero, right? You're going to have a missing assignment. And you're going to get a zero. And that zero is 100% worse than if you turned it in late or if you just turned in half the assignment to get half the credit. Because when you start, at least you give God something to work with. And you got to start. You got to forward progress. I like a friend of mine, a buddy of mine posted on Instagram today. And he said, if the mountain was smooth, you couldn't climb it. Oh, I love that quote. If the mountain was smooth, you couldn't climb it. And that's so true because if the mountain was smooth, it would be impossible to climb that smooth mountain. So I'm here to tell you, just start. Whatever it is, whatever's in your heart, whatever the things that God has set before you, whatever your purpose is, just start. Don't wait for everything to be perfect because if you wait for everything to be perfect, It'll seem like it's never the right time to start. And so some of the best successes that I've had in my life, I've just had to start. Something that I, I teach uh, and, and I encourage our staff and constantly, consistently is do not wait till everything's perfect. We cannot wait till everything's perfect because we will stop ourselves every time because there's, all, there's always going to be something that's not perfect. There's always going to be some scenario, some situation, some person missing, some resources missing, some funding missing, uh, some Something not going right that's going to tell you, hey, don't start. But you just got to start it. Yeah, like Nike. Just do it. I was reading this morning in Proverbs chapter 4. In Proverbs chapter 4, it talks about wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. And I believe that wisdom is the thing that we need. And, and when we have wisdom, wisdom will tell us what to do and how to do it. And then it goes on in the chapter to say that wisdom will promote you. Wisdom will exalt you. So it wasn't talking about perfection. It was talking about wisdom, using wisdom. And, uh, and we know that God is the source of the ultimate wisdom. And so I believe that for you, you just got to start. You got to be under the influence of encouragement. Just be under the influence of encouragement. And just if there's nobody around to encourage you, just encourage yourself. And hopefully this scope is encouraging you because I believe that there's some great things locked up inside you and you just got to start. You just got to push. You just got to start. And so you might know somebody else who needs to be encouraged to just start it. But I bet a lot of you all have dreams, have ideas, have visions, have goals, and you just need to start. So 2015 is almost over. So what? Do it in 2016. Maybe you said, I'm going to do it in 2015. Don't get down on yourself. Any day is a good day to start something new, to start your dream, to start your purpose, to start out on that idea, to move forward in whatever God has put before you. Just move. Just push out. Don't let perfection punk you. You're better than that. You can do better than that. I'm glad you needed to hear this today. I'm talking to myself. I need to hear it too. There's, you know, there's some things that are in my heart that, uh, that I want to do. And, you know, sometimes every condition isn't always perfect. You know, sometimes we're looking for a nice, bright, sunny, breezy day uh, to be a sign of the times for us that, oh yeah, this must, this must be a sign that I'm supposed to start today. But, uh, but that's not always the case. It might be gloomy, it might be rainy, it might be dark outside, and, um, and sometimes that's the best time to start something because that's a signal that, um, that the world needs what you have to offer. And whatever your gift is, whatever your purpose is, the world needs what you have to offer. And remember this, the longer that you hold out with your purpose, the more someone else somewhere goes without what you have to offer. Someone else suffers, someone else misses out on the benefit the longer you hold out. And so don't hold out any longer. Whatever that thing is that you are born to do, whatever that vision is that you have in your heart, whatever those goals are, whatever you feel like you're supposed to start, just do it. Like Nike says, just do it. 
and I believe that you'll do it. And look, hey, you're going to adjust things along the way. I'm big on adjustments. I say just start it and let's just adjust it along the way. Let's refine it. We'll tweak it. We'll, we'll make it what it needs to be. Um, but there's so many things that God has told me to start that when I just started it, Within a couple years, it looked completely different than what it started as, but I just had to start it. And as you just start it, uh, you'll find great results and you'll be encouraged even just starting it. Yeah, inch by inch, step by step. And sometimes just starting it can be one of the best encouragements to yourself that you know, okay, I at least did it. I at least filed for that 501c3. I at least uh, put in that application. I at least started uh, on my organization. I at least started writing down this vision and this plan. I at least started. I, I started. I did something today to start. So my encouragement, my challenge to you today, do something to start it, okay? And so don't let perfection paralyze your progress. Keep going. Make it happen. You can do it. I encourage you. Share this scope with somebody else. I believe that it will encourage them. It will inspire them. I'm glad that you were inspired. I believe that somebody somewhere else can be inspired also by this, that you don't have to be perfect to start it. Just start it, and, uh, and great things will happen along the way. One of the biggest tech companies in the world, Apple, started in somebody's garage. Somebody's garage, like for real, somebody's garage. It started in somebody's garage. It didn't start in a nice big office building with well-staffed, got good coffee, good machines, uh, good environment. It started in somebody's cold, dark base or uh, uh, garage. And you know, it was just a vision, it was just a dream. But they didn't wait for every condition to be right. Steve Jobs didn't wait for every condition to be right. He said, Today is a good day to start, so I'm going to get started. So just go. Yeah, don't let small beginnings hold you back. Share this with somebody else. I appreciate all the, uh, all the hearts and, and all, the, uh, all the likes. And, um, and as you share this with somebody else, they'll be encouraged. You can even watch a replay of this, and I believe it'll encourage you as well. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And, uh, and just know that uh, you can do it. Whatever you set your mind to, you can do it. God can prosper all the works of your hands and whatever's in your heart, you can go forward. You can make it happen. You can dominate and, uh, and you can overcome any obstacle that is set in your path. We'll see you later. Remember, having courage and not suffering from perfection paralysis 